I for the first quarter, I was watching it and I was going, they look fantastic. This look, I mean, wow, this is this is uh this is, look at this whole new team and everything. And then the next three quarters were not good at all. So uh Deacon Hill, I'm gonna start with you. I was I was excited for you the first half because I know I was talking so much crap at church. Um which because it's just fun to do. But uh I really thought you guys were gonna pull it off. You guys looked really good and then it didn't happen. So uh, thoughts on the, the Raiders game on Sunday. Yeah, like you said, they they started out, you know, 14-0 uh lead, you know, and I seen you send me my text and all that stuff, and I ignored I you. But um yeah, um uh, my Raiders, you know, I, I think the expectations, we we got a little excited. You know, they are who they are. They're playing against the Chiefs. The Chiefs are, you know, defending Super Bowl champs. They, you know, they still have Patrick Mahomes, and then they still got uh, Kelsey. So, you know, I just think the Raiders are who they are. We just got to just uh, sit back and, and play out the rest of the season and see where we go from there uh, as far as uh, the uh, uh, Antonio uh, Pierce becoming the head coach or not. Uh, I definitely do not like the offensive coordinator. I think he's a, a little over his head with the, and I think that's our biggest problem is the plays get stale. You know, they started out with a couple of plays and were able to score, but then after that, it gets way too predictable on the play call. And I think they need to get rid of that playbook. That's one of them old books that they didn't had for forever. And the Raiders need to to get a, a offensive coordinator to come in there and and be innovative and up to date with play calling. But other than that, you know, I just think the Raiders are, you know, they're, they're still a team worth watching. They're going to be – I think they'll still be in all these games that are coming down the stretch. And, uh, you know, I'm not expecting them to to make the playoffs or anything like that. I'm just uh, hoping that they just continue to improve. I, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for uh, Antonio P uh, Pierce to – you know, I'm, I'm rooting for him, but he has, to, he has to prove it, you know. I don't see it with the offensive coordinator – um, the quarterback, he, you know, he put up some good numbers. I mean, he was stable and everything there. So we'll see how he plays out. I think everybody's auditioning for next year. Uh, they, they, we got rid of um, the cornerback. Uh, um, what's his twin number twenty four? He doesn't his name just just just. We 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 cut him. The one that don't make any tackles or nothing. Uh, uh, Peters, got the guy that sucks. Yeah, Peters. Yeah. So and that, and that's that's what I like about what what. Uh, Pierce is doing. He's holding everybody accountable. Before we'd have, we just keep guys around for namesake or whatever. But now, if, if you're not producing, you're out the door. And I just got. I think he got everybody on on notice for that. So I think they'll they'll continue to uh, compete throughout the rest of this season. And hopefully they'll 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 find something and find their way. I hate that when people go, oh, let's tank, let's tank for next year and all that. I don't. I never like tanking because you never know what your team is about. You just got to play your games. And, and try to build your team and and, and let the call uh, the cards fall where they may. So, you know, I think the Raiders just got to keep playing. Is your your offensive coordinator right now? He was the quarterbacks coach because they ditched the the coach and the OC, right? Yes, yes, uh, yes. He he hard hard agree or something like that. Yeah, Bo hard agree. But yeah, he he was the quarterback coach, and then they they made him the OC. But I think he just he. But and like they said, a lot of people always said he's still using those same plays. They couldn't come in there and, and you know and put in a whole new offense, yeah. you know. So he still got to use those same plays. But I think it's it's how when when do you use those plays and when you call them, how do you dial them up? Has a lot to do with it. That fourth and one was crazy when they you know you, you, they had the fourth and one and they hand the ball off. They said somebody said yeah you turn a fourth and one into a fourth and five. You hand it off five yards deep. That was horrific. Oh, that was such a horrific play. Yeah, yes, yeah, just stuff like that, you know. So I just think he's a little over his head in in his play calling. So I I almost texted you during the game because you know how they sh when they do like a quarterback comparison like at halftime, and they showed uh, what's your quarterback's name right now? Oh, uh, O'Connell. O'Connell. So then they show him that dude looks nothing like a football player without his helmet on. <laughs> he looks like he looks like some like. You know, like the skinny fat guys, like they're not, they're not fat, but they're like, they're, they're they thicker, have but, they, but they have no muscle. What's he looks like, like, he looked like a dude that dressed up as a Raider for Halloween. <laughs> I almost text, I almost texted you. He it's, it's, I saw him I'm like, cause he's not playing bad. I mean, he's not playing, he's not playing great, but he's, but he's not like, he's not, he's not horrific out there, but that dude looks nothing like a, like, I bet you he goes to a bar and they go, what do you do? I'll play football. And they're like, yeah, right. Good, good one. 
You know, but 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 for his experience and everything, where he was drafted and where for his experience, of course he's not a a Purdy, but uh, right for what where he was drafted, I think he's playing pretty well when in his experience, you know. So you know, like I said, we'll see what what happens with him down the down the stretch, also. Yeah, brother Bill, did you get a chance to see the Raiders game? And just thoughts on the Raiders and thoughts on the Chiefs, also, um, because we'll most likely be playing them in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I did, and I and I I, I was. Uh, sad I would not interrupt um, Deacon Hill during the game. Um, just let him kind of watch it and enjoy it, and I feel like he had a response. So I just, my son and I, Billy, we watched the game. And at the 14 nothing lead didn't surprise me. I mean, I knew that the Raiders were going to be up for the game. And Kansas City, their receivers, I mean, take away Kelsey, and they have nothing to me in the, in the, in the passing game. Um, but the what I saw... In the third, in the second half, was Steve Spagnuolo does what he does defensively, and even with the Raiders' predictability on offense, which you know I agree with Deacon Hill that that was disappointment because not only was it stale and predictable, but it played right into Kansas City's defense's hands. I mean, they are uh, for for everything Patrick Mahomes does and Kelsey does, it that defense is consistent. Now they've had laxes in times against better teams but the fact that they held the Raiders only three points in the second half was to me was surprising um but again it just kind of goes to what they you know again their defense is is who they are that they're, they're legit um, the other thing I thought was interesting in the game was as good as a start they got with getting Jacobs the ball again they don't have to run him but just put the ball in his hands and I think if they don't get another offensive coordinator then it's going to be tough sledding even next year because teams are going to know how to defend them. You know, they're going to run on first down, get what they can, and then it becomes, you know, second long, third and long, and then if they don't get it, they have to punt. And so I'm I'm, I'm curious to see what they do in the uh, – one, how they finish out the season, um, how hard they, the players play, um, and then going on into next year. Because believe it or not, the AFC West division, I mean, yeah, as long as Mahomes there in Kansas City, they're probably going to be the favorites with the division. But the Raiders aren't that far away from, from making some inroads in the division 